Santa's Christmas Mission for World Peace. The snowflakes gently fell onto the bustling North Pole, casting a serene silence over the toy-filled workshops. Santa Claus, however, was not filled with his usual jolly spirit. His heart was heavy with the weight of the world's suffering. Wars raged on, and the cries of the innocent echoed through his mind. Santa sat beside his loving wife, Mrs. Claus, in their cozy living room, sipping hot cocoa by the crackling fireplace. He couldn't hide his concerns, and Mrs. Claus listened intently as he shared his troubles. My dear, this Christmas feels different, Santa said, his brow furrowed. The world is plagued by conflict and hatred. I fear for the future of our children and the well-being of all humanity. Mrs. Claus nodded sympathetically, her eyes filled with compassion. I share your concerns, my love. It's heartbreaking to see the world in such turmoil. Santa's eyes sparkled with determination. We must do something, my dear. We can't just sit idly by while the world suffers. We need a plan to bring peace and love back to humanity. Mrs. Claus smiled, her face aglow with inspiration. I think I know just the thing, my dear. Remember that wonderful story, A Christmas Carol? The ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future visited Ebenezer Scrooge and changed his heart forever. Santa's face lit up with excitement. Ah, yes. What if we could summon those same spirits to visit the world's leaders? Perhaps they could touch their minds, hearts, and souls, guiding them toward love, compassion, and peace. Mrs. Claus's eyes twinkled with agreement. It's a wonderful idea, my dear, and I have a feeling that we're not alone in this wish. Let us pray that God will hear our plea and grant us the help we need to bring peace to the world. As they bowed their heads in prayer, a gentle whisper seemed to carry on the wind. Your prayer is heard, dear Santa and Mrs. Claus. I will grant your wish, and the spirits of Christmas past, present, and future will intervene to guide the world's leaders toward love, peace, and harmony. Santa and Mrs. Claus looked at each other, their faces filled with hope and joy. They knew that this Christmas would be one to remember, a time when the world would come together in peace and love. The journey had begun, and the spirit of Christmas would soon touch the hearts of all humanity. The North Pole buzzed with excitement as Santa and Mrs. Claus shared their vision with the elves. The room was filled with gasps of wonder and nods of determination. Without hesitation, the elves threw themselves into the task, working tirelessly to create a Christmas like no other. Meanwhile, Santa and Mrs. Claus reached out to their friends and allies around the world. They spoke with religious leaders, celebrities, and influencers, sharing their dream of a peaceful Christmas. The response was overwhelming, with people from all walks of life pledging their support. In the spirit realm, the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future were busy preparing for their mission. They studied the hearts and minds of the world's leaders, searching for the deepest desires and greatest fears that drove them. God, too, was actively involved, guiding the efforts of Santa, the elves, and the ghosts. With a wave of his hand, the very fabric of time and space began to bend, allowing the spirits to move freely between the realms. As Christmas Eve drew near, the world began to feel a subtle shift. A sense of hope and anticipation hung in the air, like the sweet scent of sugar cookies baking in the oven. In the midst of this global effort, Santa and Mrs. Claus sat in their cozy living room, surrounded by maps, lists, and notes. They pored over every detail, making sure that nothing was left to chance. This is it, my dear, Santa said, his eyes twinkling with excitement. This is the Christmas that will change the world. I can feel it in my bones. Mrs. Claus smiled, her face aglow with love and determination. We're not just making a Christmas, my dear. We're making a miracle. And with the help of our friends, both human and divine, I know we can do it. As the clock struck midnight, signaling the beginning of Christmas Eve, Santa and Mrs. Claus shared a tender kiss. The world was ready and the magic was about to begin. As Christmas Eve unfolded, the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future embarked on their mission to visit the world's leaders. Their first stop was the White House, where they found the President of the United States busy with last-minute meetings. The ghost of Christmas past appeared before the President, transporting him back to his childhood. The President saw himself as a young boy, 
playing with his friends, laughing and feeling carefree. The ghost whispered in his ear, remember the joy and innocence of your childhood? It's that sense of wonder and curiosity that you must recapture, not just for yourself, but for the children of the world. The president's eyes welled up with tears as he felt a deep sense of nostalgia and longing. He realized that, as a leader, he had a responsibility to protect and nurture the world's children. Next, the ghost of Christmas present visited the president, showing him the struggles and hardships faced by children around the world. The president saw refugee camps, hospitals, and schools where children were fighting for survival. The ghost's voice echoed in his mind, these children are the future of our world. It's up to you as a leader to ensure that they have a chance to grow, learn, and thrive. Finally, the ghost of Christmas future appeared, revealing to the president a possible future where children were valued, protected, and loved. The president saw a world where nations worked together to provide for the well-being of all children. He felt a sense of hope and determination, knowing that he had the power to help create this brighter future. Similar visits took place at the Kremlin, the Elysee Palace, Downing Street, and other seats of power around the world. The ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future touched the hearts of the leaders, reminding them of the importance of protecting and nurturing the world's children. In China, the premier wept as he remembered his own childhood and the struggles his family had faced. In India, the prime minister felt a sense of resolve, knowing that she had the power to make a difference in the lives of her country's children. As the night wore on, the leaders of the world began to feel a sense of unity and purpose. They realized that, that despite their differences, they shared a common responsibility to protect and care for the world's children. And so, as Christmas morning dawned, the leaders of the world made a collective vow to prioritize the well-being of children everywhere. They pledged to work together to create a brighter, more loving future for all. As the sun rose over the horizon, a sense of hope and joy filled the air. The world was forever changed, and the spirit of Christmas would live on, guiding humanity toward a future filled with love, compassion, and peace. As the days passed, the world began to transform. The leaders, inspired by the visits from the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future, worked tirelessly to create a better world for children. Nations that had once been sworn enemies began to talk, sharing ideas and resources to tackle the world's most pressing problems. The United Nations, once a symbol of bureaucratic red tape, was revitalized, becoming a powerful force for global cooperation. In the midst of this transformation, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus watched with joy, knowing that their efforts had helped spark this new era of peace and cooperation. As the months went by, the world continued to change. Children, once forgotten or neglected, were now at the forefront of global efforts. Education, healthcare, and protection from harm became the top priorities for nations around the world. And as the children of the world began to thrive, the world itself began to heal. The air and water became cleaner, forests regrew, and the very fabric of society was rewoven with compassion and empathy. One day, as Santa and Mrs. Claus sat in their cozy living room, surrounded by the joy and laughter of children, they received a special visit from God himself. Well done, Santa and Mrs. Claus, God said, his voice filled with warmth and pride. You have helped bring about a new era of peace and cooperation. The world is forever changed, and the children of the world will always be remembered and cherished. Santa and Mrs. Claus smiled, their hearts full of joy and gratitude. They knew that their work was far from over, but they were proud of what they had accomplished, and they looked forward to continuing their mission to bring love, peace, and joy to children all around the world. And so, the story of Santa's most special Christmas came to an end, but the impact of that magical night would be felt for generations to come. The world would never forget the lesson it learned that Christmas, that children are the key to a brighter future, and that love, compassion, and kindness can conquer even the greatest of challenges.